daily diabetes management is the key to help patients feel their best. And doing that requires the attention of patients all day, every day. Um, it's a disease that's 24-7. And that's, you know, that's probably the hardest thing about diabetes, that you, know, you don't get to have a break. You don't get a weekend off. Tony Vickers is a 41-year-old corrections guard from Miami, Florida. Some of his unhealthy lifestyle choices put him at an increased risk for type 2 diabetes. A lot of times I found myself eating fast foods, a lot of fatty foods, burgers and uh, pizza, fries and milkshakes and things like that. In order to manage oh, diabetes properly, but, uh, doctors yeah. say patients need yeah. to learn all they you know can what? about the so disease. Type 2 diabetes is caused both by gen genes that lead to insulin not working well and our environment. Where there's too much food and too little activity, the cells in the body that use sugar, predominantly muscle cells, can't use it effectively. Education is the key to properly managing and living with diabetes. And it begins with one of the first lessons we are taught as children, ABC. The ABCs of diabetes is the crux of the matter. A stands for A1C, uh, which is a test that measures the average blood sugar over a period of about two to three months. A normal value would be less than six. An acceptable value would be between six and seven. B stands for blood pressure. And blood pressure is equally important in determining the risk of complications in diabetes as the blood sugar control. And the goal in diabetes is less than 130 for the top number, systolic blood pressure, and less than 80 for the bottom number. And then C stands for cholesterol, and is arguably even more important than A and B for heart attacks and strokes, which eventually kill most people with diabetes. So the LDL cholesterol, we'd like to have less than 100. Okay, well, I'm going to check your sensation with this vibrating tuning fork here. Managing diabetes goes beyond the ABCs. Additionally, there's taking any medications as prescribed. Then, testing blood sugar throughout the day helps patients identify the types and amounts of foods they should or should not be eating. And of course, good diabetes management includes a daily physical activity program. I do Tai Chi exercise also on the weekend for about two hours. And I just, but I'm doing the Tai Chi exercise, I focus more on my breathing and movement and just body positioning. Many patients, I, I always say, uh, should, we should treat ourselves like our car, put ourselves on a diabetes warranty program where you do certain things every year, cholesterol check, blood pressure check, A1C check, glucose check, and if you stay on a regular maintenance schedule, our bodies will run better and last longer. I've lost 10 pounds since changing my eating habits in the last month. I've incorporated exercise into my daily routine now. Come over to me. And uh, I just feel really good. What a nice day. <laughs>